What's up everybody, how's it going? Uh, bringing you guys Bastet versus Alquang this game. Basically the reason I wanted to revisit Bastet a bit is because of the bluestone uh, change. So now Bastet is really, really formidable early game, uh, which has always been her strength, you know, try to snowball early and uh, and get that lead. Um, that way you don't have to like rely on a backdoor tactic. Uh, but I'm against Alquang here and you know, Alquang always scares me quite a bit. One, because I don't know how to deal with him that well yet, but I've been fighting him enough that, you know, I know his tricks and shit. Uh, it's just the god scares me, man. <laughs> and it's being played by Neon, who's a very good player, so we'll see how it goes. But, um, yeah, Bluestone Bass, that we'll see uh, how, how fierce it is. Clear time is really good. I'll tell you that much already, you can tell. Yeah. Or at least decent. Right, maybe I overhyped it a little bit. Look at that damage. Is he dead? Yes. Holy shit. That was his red pot. Or his uh, purple pot. Oh my god. Destroyed. That blue stone, man. That's that's the thing. Like People have been doing blue stone Kali, blue stone everything right now. And Bastet, queen of the early game. Just makes too much sense, right? Alquang also not quite as strong with uh, his most recent change, you know? I can control this shit out of him right now. Unfortunately, I'll probably miss out on those three creeps, but that's okay. Made him miss out on more. So yeah, what I'd recommend is Power Pot, Blue Stone Bass that go hard as you fucking can and try to win that early game. That way you don't have to just rely on cheesy backdoor Bass set. Because I really, for one, I really enjoy this character. I think she's a fucking ton of fun. Um, and she was one of my, uh, you know, one of my earlier Diamond Gods. He's just in an awkward spot right now, because Alquang from behind, um, at least in Joust, is really fucking difficult. He's supposed to be like all about early control, and if you get first blooded like that, you're in for a rough time. I'm gonna go beads for the ulti. Probably go beads, shield of the underworld in this matchup. Because he can't really build uh, magical defense, whereas, you know, I can. That's always the strength against the magical god. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that the other world is perfect against them as a physical because they can't counter build it. To increase the snowball factor, I like to go Jotun's before Transcendence on Bastet. It's just um, a quicker way to come online, you know, rather, uh, rather than just trying to go the stacking route where, you know, it takes a while for you to get all those stacks up and everything. So I like to go Jotun's first, then the Transcendence. Or Jotun's, I'll probably go Jotun's defensive item and then Transcendence in this case. Push, he can't really effectively farm right now. How can you have a Twitch name that's lo that long? It's impossible. What is the character limit on Twitch names? This guy's name is 
mm, for like over a line and a half of text. Oops, I accidentally leveled the three. Red buff trying to keep it safe. I want more mana. It's the only benefit of going the earlier transcendence. Or not the only benefit, but yeah. One of the little luxuries that you're missing out on. So you got that, but we're gonna get his purple, so. Very nice. And we have a massive lead. About over 1k right now. Hey, what's up, Rexy? How you doing, man? You broke Twitch. Good for you. Mm -mm, don't break it too hard. I need to, uh... <laughs> I need to use this thing. Damn it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Good response though. I'm going to nothing. I'm going to calmly say, wow, that is unfortunate and step away for a second. What kind do I use for Mike? Uh, PC 360s, Sennheisers. I play a lot like Bassett, the pot and the blue stone and just try to go ham. She falls off really hard and doesn't have backdoor potential. But she doesn't fall off as hard as a wheel uh, as Bassett does in terms of the actual 1v1 fights. So she's got a little bit more potential in the actual team fight. Damn, dude. This is hard. Um, I'm not sure what I could do differently other than not fight him until I had a defense item up, I guess. Uh, I guess I should have ran with the first blood and then just tried to gain as much of a lead as I could. Um, and not engage again, but... I'm surprised that he's able to just turn it around so easily. There was all that one kill under the uh, under the Phoenix that screwed me though. Testing the waters with that. Um, the thing about Magi's now is that they reduced uh, or they lengthened the cooldown on it very, very dramatically. So it's honestly not that worth to uh, to go against him anymore. It's about 90 seconds, and his ult is much shorter than that. So. Really, overall, I'm not super worth. Mm. 
Now, dual defense items in Jeff's is actually pretty much the meta right now. It's very, very standard. It's very strong, especially against Magical. Did I get him though? No? Are you kidding me? I was so sure that that would trade. Oh wow. Kwong man. The fucking Kwonger. How is that happening? Your middle tower is under attack. Be very difficult. Alright, so we're about evened up. Just got a slight lead. Yeah! Small win. Oh, he just got poofed on. So, I juked the, uh, ability that would have gotten from the, uh, the old saw. Hey, what's up, Jen? I know, right? No mods and subs. It's kind of crazy. We have a lot of new people. Shout out to new people or people that just can't sub. Shout out to not only mod chat, though. That's how you know we've grown a lot. Usually, even when we're at like 500 viewers, though, we'll still have an enormous amount of mods talking. We got a lot of mods. <laughs> Ship your head here. Get him, boys. Alright, okay. Thank God. I thought I was gonna die there. Could you imagine he gets out, I take tower aggro and die? I would cry myself to see. Destroyed a middle enemy tower. Alright, so it seems like, I don't know man, there was a big turnaround for me. I think it was when I got the uh, the defense item online, honestly. When the Silver Talisman came online, I was able to do a lot more. But also, I went about the engagements a lot more uh, intelligently. I realized that I need to like poke him out and then go in, you know? Do a lot of, uh, you know, just harass, I guess. Use Bastet effectively, harass the hell out of him, and... Um, 
uh, and then go for the kill, you know? See, he doesn't have any sustain, so he can't deal with that harass. And he certainly can't harass me safely, because once his, uh, um, once his one is down, he's completely susceptible to the cats. Nice, there we go. Now I can all in him because I have Transcendence, I have Titan's Bane, which is... Boom. Hey, what's up, Lero? How you doing? I saw you making negative tweets. Duh. You know, doubting yourself for the uh, competition given the first day. You should not at all. You're very good. I've listened to you um, on, I think it was uh, VODs from DM stream or YouTube vids or something like that. But yeah, you're very good. You should be confident in yourself. Oh, you motherfucker. Link, really? I thought we were a little more mature, buddy. Really? <laughs> All right, let's see. Probably Shield of the Underworld. That'd be my guess. Yeah, yeah. I think Shield of the Underworld is gonna tear him apart. All right, let's see. Hmm. I don't know if I need double defense. Probably go for another pet item. Yeah. Might as well go Brawlers. It's not like he's healing, but. I want as much uh, pen as I can get. Deathbringer. Um, well, actually, I could go crit because he doesn't have shield on the world. Perfect. Get him, kitties. Yeah, that's GG. Damn, dude. Shout out to Bastet. GG.